Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Brought some of the family over. We're gonna use my horse to work on Daddy's car. Fix us up something to eat, huh? Can I see the baby? You said I could see the baby. Sure you can, huh? How you doing? I haven't seen you in so long. Give me another inch on that chain, because I can't get it in this close. Where I'm gonna be someday. Gonna move where the lights are shining bright. Well, anyway, that's how the song goes. Did you make that up? Oh, sure. I just play what comes into my head, you know, make up words. How? I don't know. <laughs> just, things I see, things I hear, even dreams. Like what? Well, I guess like going to Nashville someday. You know, that's where they live mostly. People like Johnny Cash and George Jones, you know, the great country singers. You sound better than any of them. Well, <laughs> that's real sweet of you to think so, honey, but I'm better off dreaming. Hey, Wynette, where's that big crescent wrench of mine? I don't know. Well, are you sure? There's a town far away where I'm gonna be someday. Gonna move where the lights are shining bright. A big old house and brand new car. Can I really go that far in my dreams? I see my Burnett. name. Hey, baby! You sure you don't know where it is? Got word this morning. What? That guy from Raymond. I got the job. Are you telling me we're moving again? Well, I guess so, honey. I gotta be there Monday morning. Selling farm equipment and I got commissions. How about that? You, but we've already moved three times. If my grandparents hadn't let us use this place, I don't know what we would have done. I'm not gonna spend my life setting out pine trees for the state government. Well, we can't just keep moving on somewhere. Oh, little baby. I want you to understand something, all right? I want to get us a house. I mean, a real house. With regular curtains and a carport. And honest to goodness, indoor plumbing. Ain't that better than this? Hmm? Hmm? I guess so. Well, then smile. Sorry for not writing sooner, but Yupal and I are moving again. I hope we can settle down for good this time. You can't imagine how the kids have grown. Gwen's already starting nursery school. Nursery school here, Mommy? Sure are, honey. I'll be right back. <laughs> be careful now. <laughs> How you doing, honey? Hi. How'd you make out? Honey, this here job ain't worth the pigs behind. I told him that, too. Careful. 
I told them what they could do with their two-bit job. Now, we're gonna try out Memphis. No. It's a big city. They got lots of jobs there. No. Well, why not? Because I just started beauty college here. Well, you go to beauty college there. No. Now, look here now. If I say we're going to Memphis, then we're going to Memphis. So you can quit the next job, and then the next one, and then the next one? I'm not moving again. You're gonna do what I tell you to do. You, it's always you. What about me, you fool? By God, as long as I head up this family. Head it up? You don't even bring home enough to feed us. Well, I'm your husband, damn it. And I'm telling you right here and now, we are going to Memphis. You hear me? Wouldn't You understand me? Well, all right, settle then. Now get the supper on the table. I'll be right back. Winnet, what'd you use on Mrs. Nichols? It's the usual. It's turning kind of green. Maybe you put it on too thick. Winnet, you all right? I think I'm gonna be sick. How long you been pregnant? Three months. We well, don't show none. I never do much. Oh, my goodness, honey. Why didn't you tell me? You gotta keep it a secret. They'll kick me right out of the beauty college if they find out. Well, I wouldn't tell a soul. I mean, you will too. You're not gonna tell your own husband? We've hit rock bottom, you bull and me. He knows I want a divorce, but he won't give it. If he finds out I'm pregnant again, he'll never give it. I didn't know things was that bad. Four years now, we never settled down. We're all, never, we're always moving on somewhere. Most of the time, he's out of work. We never do anything. We never go anyplace. We don't even have a TV. Honey, look, when you get your beauty college license, things are going to be a whole lot different. <laughs> hey, take it easy now. You want some more potatoes? Well, are we just gonna sit here not talking? Damn fool. Who? Who are you talking about? Foreman that got. It's lucky I didn't tear into him. Wait a minute. Now, just wait a minute. You didn't... They paid me. Don't worry. I got the money. I got that all right. We're staying here. Mm -hmm. We're not moving again, Yupal. I ain't decided that yet. I have. I don't want to hear that kind of talk. Then you go where you want to, but you go alone, Yupal. I've only got two more months to finish up beauty college here, and oh, I'm going to finish it. Oh, well, you just listen here. No. Did you hear what I said? There is no use talking about it. Quiet down, because you're going to wake up them kids in there. All I'm saying is that if I decide... I don't care what you decide! Do anything you want to do, but don't include me! Let me go! It's over, you. Do anything you want to do, but just man, get out! You've got to stop get, this! Get out! You hear me? You hear me? You've got to hold yourself! Going back to bed, baby. 
Come on, sweetheart. Come on back to bed. cases such as hers, electric shock therapy has proven enormously beneficial. Well, here she is, ready to go home. Hi, huh? You take care of yourself, Gwinnett. Call Sir me Hopkins. if you need me, Mr. Bird. Uh, good luck to both of you. Thank you, Doc. Hey, you look good. Really good. You feel all right? Hmm? Got the car right outside. You ready to go? Here, yeah, yeah, I'll get you back. Now, Dr. Boren says you're going to be just fine. He said in cases like yours, that shock treatment works real good. Come on. Honey, your mother is some nice woman. I mean, somehow I just feel real close to her, you know? I do. Anyway, did I tell you, this new job they're talking about is going to pay twice as much as I was making. How about that? Things are really looking up this time. I know it for sure. Sure is good to have you home again, baby. Ain't got much nothing here to eat, Bill. Well, I'm going to go on over to the store this afternoon and pick up something. I'd like one of them frozen pizzas. Like that? How about that, huh? Want pizza? You won't be staying, you boy. I got myself a lawyer named Harold Simpson. He's a divorce lawyer. Ooh. Now, wait a second, baby. I know you can fight it. You can fight it all you want to. Doesn't make any difference to me, not anymore. I'm getting a divorce, you boy. And I want you out of here now. Such a long time. Who knows? Maybe he'll be back. Mama, don't you understand? I am not taking him back. We are finished now for good. We've never had a divorce in this family. Well, I'm sorry, but... Look, uh, I am not setting out to disgrace the family, but I sure don't want to wind up in some hospital again either. Young couples always have their problems. Mama, it's over. I'm sorry, honey. If we can help out in any way, you just call on us, you hear? We only want what's best for you. You know that, don't you? Thank you, Mama. Mommy, what happened? Uh, 
Beg your pardon, ma'am. Oh, we've been robbed. This is Bird. I have a warrant here for your arrest. If you'll just come along with me. What? What for? I'll explain it to you on the way to the station. Well, no, you don't understand. I, I have two little children here with me, and I can't come. We are also taking custody of the children. This officer from the juvenile department. She'll take care of them for you. No. This is Bird. I hope you don't plan on giving us any trouble. Please come with us. Now, Mrs. Bird, about these electroshock treatments, uh, who administered them? Dr. Barnes, but I don't understand what it is. Your his... children, Mrs. Bird. We're thinking only of your children. Your husband has charged you with being in... My husband? You mean he's, he's the one he had... He took out a warrant for my arrest? About these treatments. But, my God, he took everything. He robbed the apartment. Do you think I'm crazy? <laughs> Dr. Pegram. <gasps> Tell him, please, for God's sake, tell him oh, I'm not crazy. It's all right, Winnet. Tom? You obviously know this young lady. I should hope so. I delivered her children. It's my opinion we've been brought here together on a false alarm. A complaint has been filed. To As a member of this board, I strongly suggest that she be released at once. Her husband and mother have claimed I don't that... care what they claim. She's perfectly sane. Well, now it's getting very late. Let's all go home. You're free to leave, Gwinnett. Oh, no, I'm not going anywhere till I get my children. Mommy! Mommy! Oh! Oh, Mommy. How are you doing? Were you scared? I was scared. Did you get all oh, I'm so happy. Where are my kids? Mrs. Richter said that they'd already been picked up. Picked up? By who? She didn't say. Mama, look, somebody picked up the kids from Mrs. Richter's, and I'm almost certain it was Eupel. Have you talked to him at all? Did he call you? Uh, why, no, dear. Well, do you know where he's living now? No, I don't. Well, do you know his phone number? Well, no, I, I don't believe so. Mom, are you certain you haven't talked to Yupel? Oh, oh, there's something burning in the oven. I, I gotta run now.
darling. Oh, look, I want you both to come with me right away, okay? See you. Hiya, hon. Oh, hi, Uncle Carl. Hope I haven't kept you waiting too oh, long. Oh, no, not at all. Oh, I'm so nervous. Well, don't be. You come right along with me. Carl's waiting in the studio to hear you sing. And you're gonna do just fine. Oh. You give it all you got. Yeah? Gonna move where the lights are shining bright. A big old house and brand new car. Can I really go that far? In my dreams, I see my name in the online. She's scared. She's good. That was nice. That was real nice. You know, I got a morning show. Goes on every morning, 6 a.m. I could use a girl singer. 6 a.m. Is that a problem? Well, I got two kids. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but Aunt Arlene said she'd help take care of them. Oh, yeah. Well, you want the job? Oh. Now, what's the matter? Well, I got another problem. I work in a beauty parlor, and I got to be there at 8.30. You'll just make it. And we'll start you off at 35 bucks. A show? A week. Well, I'll take it. Well, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> now, old country boy's got himself a new singer, Wynette Bird, and I want to tell you, she sings like a bird, too. Trying to be myself, home Oh, my goodness. Look. Uh, look, that's you on the screen. Oh, yeah, that's my other job. I finish up there about 7.30 and get some breakfast, and then I come over here. Oh, for goodness sakes. Are you all right? What's the matter? I'm going to have the baby. Oh, my, you are a busy girl. Well, I guess I better go. Let me help you, honey. Thank you. Hey, 
Eddie, do you want to see me? I'm working on that song again. Oh, yeah? Those last two bars, that was a hell of an idea of yours. They fit just right. Well, it's a real nice song, Eddie. Look, uh, could I tell you something personal? Yeah. You are wasting your time here, Wynette, and I mean it. If there's one place in this world that you ought to be, it's in Nashville. You owe it to yourself. That's the honest truth. Well, I don't know anybody there. Sweetie pie, all you got to do is just open your mouth and sing, and they're going to know you soon enough. Oh, I don't know, Eddie. I, I got my kids and everything. You got your kids right here, too. Two jobs and you're making it. You can make it in Nashville. Look, next month, it's a big disc jockey convention there. Most everybody in the business is going to be there. I'll think about it. Now, don't think about it. Just do it, honey. Do it. Oh, I've, I've done this before. Okay. Yeah. Now don't scare her. I won't scare her. Bye, sweetie. Here you go. 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 you go. you Here you go. you go. Here you go. Here you go. you right, you hear? I will, I will. Now you be careful. I will. Bye bye. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. Give him three letters? I did. Well, what do you think? Eupel, there's no chance ever of our getting back together again, so you might just as well forget about it. You know what I think? I think you're still crazy. Goodbye, Eupel. Oh, well, wait a minute. Your mama told me what you're gonna do. Says you're going off to live in Nashville. Well, boy, if that ain't crazy, I don't know what is.
But try us. Come on out. Come on, let's give her a hand. your cheating heart? Honey, we live it every day. What key? Doesn't matter. Let's try it again. Your cheating heart will make you weep. You'll cry and cry and try to sleep. But sleep won't come the whole night through Your cheating heart will tell on you When tears come down like falling rain You'll toss around Fine. Just imagine, I've only been in Nashville one day and I sung already. It was great. You just come back anytime. Oh, thank you. Hey. Hey. My name is Wynette Bird. I recently moved here from Birmingham. Is that right? You ever hear of a little town called Haleyville? Well, I surely have. My daddy was born there. I grew up there. Oh! What can I do for you? I'd like a recording contract. I bet you would. You got any tapes? Tapes? No, but... Well, I can sing for you right here if you, if you let me borrow your guitar. If so. Okay. I threw away my gingham for a pretty dress of white He wore a suit instead of faded jeans Our wedding day was perfect and we loved away the night Life for us was filled with lots of dreams We bought a house up on a hill outside of town And two young people finally settled in 
And you just won't believe the little children running round. They pick yellow daisies now and then. That's the way it could have been. Oh, that's the way it should have been. If I had met you way back then. That's the way it would have been. That's the way it could have been. It's all right. I mean you, not the song. I tell you what, you bring me a, a good song, a new one, and really good. I'll record you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Cheryl. Thank you. Hey. Ah, uh, that's my guitar. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> say, uh, what'd you say your name was again? Winnet Bird. Uh-huh. Is that the name you're going to use? Well, there's my maiden name, Pew. Pew. <laughs> well, you know, uh, you look kind of like a Tammy to me. Why don't you try that? With what? Winnet? Why not? Tammy Wynette. Not bad. Tammy Wynette. Okay. Thank you. Which one are you going with first, Billy? Uh, the one she brought in? No, this one that came in a couple of days ago. It's a whole lot better song. Uh, Tammy? Uh, honey, we're about ready to make one. All right, boys, y'all about ready? Crank it up. Just follow the stairway. So very long ago. Where did she come from? <laughs> it walked in and out. Really, that's the damnedest little female singer I ever heard in my life. And after all the plans we made, you decided to be free. Loneliness surrounds. Number nine. Just follow the stairway to this lonely world of mine. You'll find me waiting here in apartment number nine. That was Tammy Wynette with her new hit, Apartment Number 9, which is moving right into the top of the charts. Mommy, what? why can't you sing in just one city? Because they don't do it like that, honey. You've got to go to different nightclubs and different county fairs, things like that, so people get to know you, get to know you're singing. Where are we now? Well, we're in, um... Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Did you want peanut butter and jelly, Jackie? Mm-hmm. Here you go. Me and little J-O-E will be going away. I love you both and this will be pure H-E-double L for me. Oh, I wish that we could stop this D.I.V. I 
did it again. What? Moved to number one on the charts. Oh! That's not good news. What are you talking about? How'd you like to sing with George Jones? Billy, are you joking? Yeah, well, not with him exactly, but on the same show. See, now, you'll come on first with a big introduction and then do your duet with Houston and Jones will do the rest of the show. Oh, I think I'd do it for nothing. <laughs> no, we won't. Not with three hits under our belt. <laughs> okay, so after the intro, we'll bring him up. Come in. Tammy, you can relax. I beg your pardon? Got plenty of time. David Houston is going on first. He's got to get away early to catch a plane. Oh, well, what about our duet? Oh, you can still do it. How? I mean, if I don't go on first, I won't have any introduction. You want me just to go out there and sing? That doesn't seem right. I don't see any big problem. Well, we could do the duet as the first song on my show, and then he can get away early. He's not going to want to be a part of somebody else's show. Well, it just doesn't seem right to me. To... Just do it. I don't believe I will. Well, I think you're better if you want to use his band. I paid for them. They're getting extra money to play for me. Sorry. Look, just because I'm a girl singer, that doesn't Come mean... On. Now, everybody knows how girl singers make it in this business. Are you ready, George? We're going on early. Huh? We're going on early. Hey, why? Well, Houston's almost finished. Well, what about uh, Tammy when that? She ain't going on. Call her for me, would you? Mm -hmm. She ain't going on. Why not? I don't know. Something about a introduction. Introduction? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes, you gave me the reason to start giving. When I became the man worth loving you Yes, you gave me the reason to keep living And made me a thousand faith in what I do Yes, you gave me the reason to start giving When I became the man worth loving You know, you know, uh, I've had the privilege of recording with, I guess, the best girl singers in the world, and I love all of them. But there's a young lady here tonight that I think I would rather sing a duet with than anybody I can think of. You think we might be able to persuade her to come out here and sing a duet with me? Because I'm talking about the one and only Tammy Wynette. The funny thing about this is that uh, she was supposed to do this thing with someone else who shall remain nameless. <laughs> but I think I can fill in for him if I can just remember the words. <laughs> and you know what? She not only sings like an angel, she looks like one, doesn't she? <laughs>
Hey, Tammy. Wait up a minute, would you? I don't know about you. I, I had a hell of a good time tonight. Oh, I can't thank you enough. We got, like, you know, three more dates on this tour, and I was thinking maybe we, we could do it again. I, I promise I get the words right. Well, I think they like it better the way we did it. So, can we call that a deal, then? It would be my pleasure, Mr. Jones. That's George to you. Good night, George. How are they? Oh, they're okay. The doctor says they're gonna be good in the morning, something they ate. Did you get any hot dogs? No. Nah, we probably overdid the hot dogs. Fuck. Sure, we take that. Well, you didn't have to come all the way over here. Well, I just, I just sort of felt like it, you know, just did it. Well, well, they're asleep now, so I... <coughs> oh, spoke too soon. Mm -hmm. I got a guy in here who wants to play with the band. I do. <laughs> you wanna see if he's any good? Shall we see if he can play any? Bless God, it's put on wrong And every little soul must shine, shine Every little soul must shine, shine You hold on that now You go to sleep, here. Get out my George Jones records and put them to sleep that way. <laughs> you don't have to. I, I know it's not a time to talk about how I feel about you. But I think you know. Yeah. Help you watch as the heart of a child breaks in two And you've seen a picture Of me without you Thank you all! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you all! Thank you, boys. I'm gonna be back in just one minute with somebody I want you all to meet, okay? Now, you're not nervous, are you? Yes, I am. <laughs>
Give me your little hand. I got just what you need. Oh, well, we'll get a bigger one later on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. This is very special occasion for a very dear person in my life, and this is the first time for her here on the stage at the Grand Ole Opry. I'd like you to make her feel real welcome, give her a big hand, Miss Tammy Winnett. <laughs> Well, they ain't gonna bite you, you know. I mean, I might, but they won't. <laughs> Come on, say something to them. Go on. Excuse wait me. Wait a minute, wait a minute here. I'm still pinching myself. Uh, I've been thinking, Tammy, you're gonna be right up there. Right there on the stage of the Grand Ole Opry House. It's a dream I've had since I was a little girl back in my granddaddy's farm in Mississippi. Um, I'm standing right here where Hank Williams and Red Foley and all the greats have stood. What, well, George Jones? And George Jones. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't let me say it on my own, but the reason I'm up here tonight, the reason that you've all made me feel so welcome, is that I am up here with the greatest country music singer that ever lived. Well, who she couldn't be talking about, do you? Let's give them a little something about what they come. music singer in America, Mr. George Jones! Where's George? I think we better do another number. Looks like um, George won't be with us this evening. I'm sorry. What is it? This this is a number that I recorded, and folks seem to like it real well. Hey, George! Hey, 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 George!
sorry. I sat alone at the window. And I watched all the girls outside at play. With the little boy. We want more. Come on, Tammy. He went off with the club owner on a toot somewhere together. Sometimes, I mean, if he goes off on a really big drunk, he'll be gone most a week, you know, traveling all over drinking and stuff. But he always comes back. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, but... Well, to me, George Jones is the kindest, most generous man I ever worked with, and I love him like a brother. Hey, look at the bright side. I mean, if he's out drinking with the club owner, at least we can't get sued. Hey, you. George. Oh, George. Do you know how long you've been gone? A uh, couple of days. Three days. Uh, now, look, me and McMahon got an airplane, and we hit a couple of spots. Where? And... Never mind. Get up. We got a lot to do today, girl. Come on. Because this is the day, Mrs. Jones. I mean, a lot of people think that we are married. I think we ought to back them up on it. Oh, George! Don't scream in my ear like that. This year's award for the Country Music Association's female vocalist, the winner is Miss Tammy Wynette. <laughs> I would like to thank uh, Mr. Billy Sherrill, who believed in me, and uh, everybody who voted for me. And most of all, I'd like to thank Mr. George Jones. What did I tell you? Ain't she wonderful? Ain't she beautiful? Sings like an angel. Yeah, I struck it rich and got me the best little wife in the whole world. Is that way when you're working? Oh, come on, Mom. You was drinking all evening. A couple of swallows. What's going on, George? You fixing to treat her the way your daddy did me. Is that how you want to live? I ain't him. I can see what you're doing, George. George! I said I ain't him. It's making me sick. Making you sick? It never made you sick before. Yeah, it did. Three times. 
With Gwen first, and then Jackie, and then Tina. With Gwen first, and then Jackie, and then Tina. Are we going to uh, be <laughs> Mama and Daddy? I think so. Oh, my good girl. My good girl. Come on, get out of there. Come on. I mean, did you ever see anything like that? That's a beauty, isn't it? Well, who lives here? Well, that's what I was going to talk to you about. George, are you trying to tell me you're thinking of buying this place? No, I already bought it. <laughs> Come here now, look. There's like upstairs, there's six bedrooms. There's a recreation room, there's a library, there's a uh, formal dining room, there's uh, a place we can make into a brand new nursery. Well, she thinks, I mean, it's going to take a fortune to keep a place like this. No, 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 no. I got that all figured out. Now, there's 43 acres that's adjacent to this property that we can buy. And it's got like a, a, a natural shape type bowl deal in it, like a, an amphitheater, you know? And we put up bleachers and we'd Put on shows every weekend. No, I mean, not just us, but everybody. We get the biggest names in the business. And we'll call it the Old Plantation Country Music Park. And the house, I mean, is perfect for the kids. Now, come on, what do you think? Oh, I love it. Hmm, you love it. I thought you'd love George, it. George, watch the baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Come here inside. Yeah, we got them all booked. Got Merle Haggard and Charlie Pride, and we got Johnny Cash. Yeah, this puts you on the map, all right. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm bringing the crib in here. I ain't gonna have my little baby darling sleeping all over there in some room all by herself. Like you fixed up the nursery for. Come on, honey. Come to Daddy. You're gonna sleep right in here with us. You're gonna spoil you? her. Yeah, I am. Spoiler real good, too. Good morning, Mr. Jones. Good morning. Mrs. Jones. We got your suite all set up for you. Hey, we George. got our fingers crossed you're going to win tonight. Oh, thank you. Oh, slam. How are you doing, buddy? Just fine, just fine. You in town for the Broadcast Music Awards? Oh, I believe there's some messages for you. Messages for the Joneses, please. Thank you. Come on. Honey, why don't you stay here and uh, make sure we're all settled in and everything's okay? Slim's got some uh, stereo stuff he's going to show me, and I'll be back in a couple hours, okay? Stenographer? We didn't order a... Um, thank you. Waiting for George Jones? That's right, honey. Who are you? I'm um, Mrs. Jones, honey. Oh. Mr. Jones won't be joining you. My, my boss told me to wait for him here. Who in the 
hell do you think you are? George. You sent somebody away to come here to see me, you know that? You don't say who I can see, or when I can see them. George, if you're... You don't tell me where to go, or when to go there. You don't tell me what to do. Nobody tells me what to do. George, Nobody! George, you're shouting and people are going to hear us. Ah. Uh, yeah. I'm getting a little loud, huh? Getting a little too loud. <laughs> Nobody tells me what to do. Nobody. And now, we come to the awards honoring BMI writers and publishers whose songs have been most performed in the past year. You've heard the nominees. And the winner is Tammy Wynette. Or stand by your man. Thank you. I'm very proud that you voted for me. Well, I thank you. you're doing, George? You're killing off what we have little by little. Can you understand that? It ain't gonna happen again. That's a promise. It ain't never gonna happen again. kids and everything, but for the last album, it sold over a million copies. So if you could see your way clear to doing a couple of gigs in Vegas next month, we could... <laughs> George, sweetheart, the baby has to have her nap now. What do you mean, have a nap? Who said she had to have a nap? I said so. All right, Mama always wins. No, you can't play it anymore. No, I'll no. take she, That's all right, honey. I'll take her up. Can't play the piano when Mama says we have to have a nap. Is he still drinking? Yeah, off and on. You just never know. Sometimes he's fine and 
Then all of a sudden he'll drink for days. I didn't know it was that bad. Only last week he drank everything in sight, and I was afraid that he was going to take one of the cars and go to the bar. So I hid all the car keys. But it didn't work because he uh, snuck out and he drove 13 miles on the power lawnmower. <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't know. I, I don't want to lose him. I just want to lose what's happening to him. Well, there's everything I can do. You know, anything at all. I know. And these are the receipts for the last two months? Yes, that's right. Did you show them to George? Not yet. I wanted to, but he wasn't there earlier, not at the office anyway. Oh, well, maybe he went down by my folks at the River Road. Well, do you want to hold off going over the second ledger until he gets yeah, here? Yeah, let's do that. I think you better come. What's the matter? He's back in here. I think he needs your help. Huh? Well. Yes, I had a long talk with him this morning. He says he doesn't remember a thing. I'm inclined to believe him. <sighs> Doctor, this is the worst he's ever been. Yes, I'm sure it is. We uh, had to put him in a padded cell. I'm going to keep him here at the hospital for 10 days with no visitors. I want time to get his head clear as well as his body. 
After that, it's up to George and to you. He has simply got to stop drinking. He's coming up the drive now, and I'm scared. Oh, don't be silly. I just don't understand. I mean, to leave everything the way he left it? How else is he going to know what he's done? What are you looking for? I've got no bottles back here. You might find some vodka in the orange grove, though. I know for a fact you've been hiding it there and make yourself a screwdriver with fresh orange juice. I'm going to fall for a divorce. Tammy. I know what you're going to say. Same three things you always say. You're sorry, you'll never do it again, and you love me. Listen, we're going to work this out. How? By you killing yourself? You might as well put a gun to your head and get it over with right now. Now, this time? This time, this time. Well, maybe you do love me, George, but not enough, not enough to stop drinking. You, you got to listen to me. I cannot lose you. Then why do you keep trying to so hard? That's what I don't understand. Why? No more. That's no answer. Got to believe me. This time, it's no more. Well, how can I believe you? You think I want a divorce? I just want my husband. But I can't live like this, George. I know that. I know it's going to be almost impossible for you to believe, but I'm going to change. I'm going to get some help with this thing. And I've been thinking that, you know, there's too much work around here for us to handle. It's like we're taking on too much. We ought to go and move on back to Nashville and be near where it's all happening. I mean, if you could just put all that bad stuff behind us, and there's not going to be any more drinking, and you got to give me that chance. Please do it. Please. We're going to hold. hold on. We're going to hold.
I don't know. I don't know where he is. What do you mean? Mother, I just can't live like this anymore. We've had three cancellations. People want to see you together. Both of you. I'm sorry. I might be able to get you the Muskie College Auditorium on the 30th. I just, I don't know what I want to do now. Why not? What's the matter? Are you scared? What are you afraid of? Tammy, I remember the first time you came in this office. You have a dime to your name. Three kids outside in the car. Went over there and picked up my guitar. And you sang a song for me. Just you alone. You're a star now, Tammy. You can do it on your own. Anytime. He's right. Man could sure use the work, Tammy. George says he ain't gonna do anything, not for a long while, anyways. Hoping we could keep right on with you. I don't know. Well, either way, we understand. I just keep thinking if I, I had been prettier or smarter or something, he wouldn't have gone off like that. You did what you could, Tammy. Well... I don't know what I'm going to do now. Boys are ready. Anytime you are. Thank you, Charlie. I thank both of you from my heart. I've had the privilege of recording with, I guess, the best girl singers in the world, and I love all of them. But there's a young lady here tonight that I think I would rather sing a duet with than anybody I can think of. You think we what might is? be able to persuade her to come out here and sing a duet with It's George on and the I'm phone. About the one and only. He's in Nashville. He wants to come home. Tell him he's got no home to come to. I think that's something you better tell him yourself. I'm taking the kids away for a week. You can come pick up your things anytime. Baby, wait a minute. Oh, get me a box. A big box. What for? What are you doing? I'm getting rid of George.
Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lady who started singing not too far from here in Itawamba County. Let's give a nice warm welcome now. The first lady of country music, Miss Tammy Wynette. <laughs> Now, we don't know where George is. Nobody knows where George is. George doesn't even know where George is. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, that's Charlie Carter talking to you. And uh, what he's saying is mostly true. I mean, if I didn't know where George was when we were married, I sure don't know where he is now. But... Uh, I will tell you one thing, though. Even though I just couldn't live with George, he still is the greatest singer in country music today. Uh, there's a song I wrote. Some of you may have heard it. It may not seem right to be singing it.